here, and I will prepare it for now. All right, walk over. I found you, May. All right, uh, Xiaohu says, "Ah, uh, Miss Su, Miss Su." And May says, "Hmm, why did you, why did you, what did you chase me all, all the way for?" Anyway, Xiaohu says, "I." I hope I wi I'm hoping that you'll <clears throat> that you'll return the three magical weapons and also and also so we can also so we can explain the we can clear up the misunderstandings between us. Huh. Huh. Li Xiaoyao and Lin Yueru, the two characters from the first game, who did kill her parents. Yes, they did, because we it was part of our main quest, unfortunately. Um, Li Xiaoyao and Lin Yueru were, <coughs> were the ones that killed my parents. They Even if they were to turn to the ash, I wouldn't be able to mistake them. What, is there anything else to explain? Yeah, big big brother Xiaoyao and Yi Ru. Uh, oh, okay. And Yi Ru's uh, mother Yue Ru. Could they really have been the ones that killed your parents? I followed you all the way to. Um, to Tuojia, uh, to a river, and I, and, and that's when I. Oh wait, wait. I followed you all to well, yeah, Tuojiang, which is where the the sage's house was, and then and that's why I found out about this. It's too bad that. It's too bad that I wasn't. I was too uh I was too soft, so I didn't kill that, that woman right then and there. So that's why you just So that's why you just left. It's because I was thinking that <clears throat> I was thinking of killing Li Xiaoya while uh, behind your backs or uh, let's see. Why you uh, uh hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. It's because I want to secretly kill Li Xiaoyao in order to take revenge for my mother and father. Huh. And when I knew that... Oh, okay, so she is... And afterwards, when I knew that Kong Ling had captured... Ha, after I knew that Kong Ling had captured Li Xiaoyao... And yes, when the whole painting scenario... I went into... Where Kong Ling, li <laughs> Kong Ling lives, lived. But I just, I couldn't figure out just where, uh, where Li Xiaoyao had been captured to. Had been locked up. The stream is mostly dialogue. Oh, thank you. Well, great. So I won't be playing too much, I guess. Afterwards, you when you came with, when you uh when you came to the to the the dark zone of the Dragon Gate with the go the heavenly ghost emperor and took away and took away the painting and and the ghost emperor being being at having getting surprised getting ambushed and you escaping the dark zone all of those things I knew. So you knew, so you knew all about all that stuff, huh? Did you re? Did you really think that the 
that the that the injured heavenly ghost emperor and those people would would really be able to hold uh, to hold Kong Lin. Huh. Interesting. I did not know that. Interesting. Huh. So <coughs> when you were When he was when he was escaping and trying to look for all of you, did you really? Uh, who do you think was the one that held up, held up Kong Lin? Miss Su, it couldn't be that it was all. It was all because of you. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, good. Well, for what? I don't know. What context are you talking about? In any case. It does not matter. Well, at least you understand the the ha most <laughs> most of it. Ha, huh, I see. Your brain is definitely is friend. Oh, friend. <laughs> I knew that Kongli wouldn't give up that easily, so that's why I secretly followed him to Huhua Mountain, Mountain, and that's and that's when I ran into you. Uh, so, so it was you who was helping us behind from behind the scenes all along. So. Do you still plan on stopping me from killing Li Xiaoyao? Oh, uh, you know, Xiao. This is Xiao who's caught. This is like the guy Xiao who's been looking up to his whole life. You you don't think he's going to just simply have say like, oh, okay, it's perfectly fine for you to kill my childhood, I my childhood hero. No problems with that at all. I mean, May, come on. You think about it from his perspective here. But revenge is a vicious cycle, isn't it? My brain just said, uh, some. There are days when I feel like that, huh? I think Fridays would worse because they're like, where you're like, I don't want to do any more work. Uh, but, uh, of course, I won't let you kill, uh, kill Big Brother Xiao Yao. Huh? Well, if I were to insist on kill. On killing well, what ha what if I insisted on killing him? <sighs> Xiao Hu is kind of at a loss of what to say. Well, con consider this, like, well, maybe Xiao Hu think of it. I don't know. I don't. I'm not an advocate of killing people for any for anyone's sake. In in my opinion, I don't know. Like, like really, it's like saying like, please kill my big brother. It is totally fine. <laughs> I mean, I understand that she it is a cult. They were the ones that killed her mom and dad. However, I don't feel that it's necessary to do this. I mean, what? Like, I don't know. Like, if you're gonna kill people, why are you killing people that can actually contribute general good? But it's okay. It's hard to say. I mean, like, it is true that from her perspective, it's like, oh, I need to take revenge. Like, they were killed and they were killed and they didn't do anything bad to them. Right? Yeah. I mean, I guess kidnapping the girls was kind of bad, but that didn't. That's not a murder crime. I mean, I don't know. It's a very gray kind of area. But anyway, um, let's just go on. But of course, Xiao Hu has. He has to think of Xiao. Like, really, it's. Like, what do you want him to do in this case? Like, it's seriously. It'd be like saying, like, oh, please kill my mom and dad. They killed your mom and dad. That's perfectly fine. Well, I guess it's not. It's not that bad. Maybe it's like, oh, please kill my big brother. It's totally fine with me. Anyway, this does not seem. It doesn't seem like Xiao. Well, Xiao Hu is not going to budge that easily, no matter how friendly she was to him. But like, seriously, it's like. Given Sh given Xiao Hu's character, it's just not in his nature to just let someone die. Um, sorry, I was just looking up something while I was talking it. If you were to, if 
If you were to kill Big Brother Xiao Yao. Oh, huh. Much less evil in the Eating hearts of little girls. I don't know. Yeah, well, there you go. That's not necessarily a great thing either. Well, then. Yeah. Well, Xiao Yao probably shouldn't have just killed them. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess in a way he was also saving. I don't know. It, it, it's hard to say. It did. I don't think he could have talked them out of doing it, whatever they were doing. Anyway. Um. Oh, RNG. I, oh, I don't like dealing with those in speedruns. Anyway, if you were to kill Big Brother Xiao Yao, then I, I, I would have to break all ties with you. And afterwards... And afterwards, you would kill me in order to take revenge for him? Oh. K kill you? No. Uh, perhaps I wouldn't... It's, it's possible I wouldn't be able to kill you. But I would hate you for your uh, for a whole a lifetime. And then in and then I would never ever I would never see you uh, wished oh I would never want to see you again. And Friday the 13th is never good for me no matter what I do. Oh okay, well hopefully it will Hopefully we will have a, this stream will help be a good thing. No, I don't think Xiao Hu is not the kind just to take revenge either. Which incidentally, he's a really, you know, some ways he's a bit. He's even his moral compass is even stronger than many people in this era, right? But anyway, um, very serious things happening. I'm, and I like how we're just talking about Friday the Thirteenth on the other side. Great guys, this is really helpful to. Yeah, Xiao Hu is. Well, it's usually what I hear from girls. Well, I don't know. I think it's it's. I don't think it's a gender specific thing. It doesn't have to be like men aren't all killers, and neither are women are not all like. I'm like I'm. St I would never dare to do that. No, there are plenty of cold blooded men and women, all all over the world, and there are people who are not cold blooded who can say like, you know what, whatever. They don't. I'm not like this is unforgivable, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to use the same. I'm not going to give them the same response. But anyway, May doesn't have anything to say to, again, to that. And frankly, I don't know what to say in this situation. I'm sure he has feelings for her. Well, maybe. I mean, like, it's possible. Well, anyway, whatever. Uh, Chi Chi has to. I don't know what can you say against that, right? Miss Sue? She's going to walk away. Give me a second. I'm going to drink some water really quick. Ah, all right. Sume. What do you want? What are you going to do? Oh, really? I guess. No, I've definitely... No, I've definitely heard that line from other characters too. Not just women. Oh, whatever. It's not... Please put down the uh, put down the magic weapons. Or he doesn't say please. Sorry. Uh, put down the magic weapons. Wang Xiaohu, you cut ties. As if it's very severe. But basically, yeah, that's the best thing. It's basically like you're dead to me if you do that. I'm never gonna respect you for that. And I don't like cut ties. They just do so themselves. I like how I'm did, like, I'm actually, like, actually, the, like, what's stopping me is not the fact I can't read it, it's just like, uh, this is the tough... <clears throat> magic weapons, magic weapons, all you, <coughs> all you care about are the magic weapons! Uh, what type of she hi? Uh, let's see. I don't care that much about it, about them. I'm confused. Okay, what's going on in the chat here? <gasps> that's... Oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, let's see. Wang Xiaohu. 
I think it'd be best if you remember everything, every sentence you've said today.